I, we have now started to inspect the, the private schools with whom we have been working very well. Uh, as you have been following this morning, I have inspected uh, two institutions but in three locations. Uh, perhaps I start with the, the public sector where we have done extremely well. As I speak to you, we are at 98% completion. Uh, the few that are left, the 2% that are left, I'm sure by mid of next week they will be complete. Therefore, the national government is going to roll uh, uh, the second phase of uh, the public uh, CVC classroom construction sometime during the course of next week. So where the first phase was uh, involving 6,497. Uh, the next phase is a balance of that, which is just about 3,500 classrooms. So uh, we will uh, launch that from next week, and we are hoping that uh, by the time we are handing over, I hand over when the next the next cabinet secretary has been sworn in. I'm not a politician, so I'm very happy I'm going to continue working through and through. And I want to hope that by the end of uh, August, at the very latest, I, as uh, Magoa, son of Magoa, shall have delivered 10,000 classrooms that is excellent, the president said, uh, should be ready by the time he's leaving. But then we have the private sector, with whom we have been working for them. And actually the children who are problematic, that is our own children, like my, my seeds now, would prefer perhaps to go to private schools. And so most of the working class children, instead of giving us pressure at the top schools, which are basically going to, to help at uh, senior school, we would want the private sector to develop standalone junior high school. And this is perhaps a very big example. Uh, I realize the president is not following me inside for whatever reason, but if you like, you can go inside. Without. This is a very important development. There are eight classrooms here, which means instead of children from Kisumu rushing to the, to the advances and the Kenya high schools of this world, for junior high school, they will be given the same service here in Kisumu. I don't see the pressure and the negative energy and that people are having. I have been assured by the head of the private school, which is Mr. Tom here, that they already have 1,200 classrooms ready, and that by the end of July, they will have another 5,000 classrooms ready. Now, those plus, that is an extra space that is available for us, and uh, the government is going to continue to, to facilitate and ensure that uh, these schools are registered as quickly as possible. There is a process. The fact that I really information this one does not stop the process to continue uh, in the future to work with our health assurance people. I would like to assure the uh, private school organization that uh, the government is ready and willing to work with them. And that uh, when His Excellency the President has pronounced himself as the head of state and commander-in-chief of the defense forces. And we have agreed to work for him. Some of us are not politicians, we are just professional workers. So we are going to work and we are going to do it. I would like to reiterate the fact that CBC is not going anywhere. And you can see how much money the government has uh, placed in the CBC. Our beloved children who are in the grade six, their, their examination is ready. And the small matter of how they are going to transit into that uh, secondary is being worked on. And sooner rather than later, definitely before we leave office, we shall leave a clear pathway as to how the children are going to go to the secondary schools. So unless somebody has a very burning question, uh, good to see you again.